Hallo, uh, back to part 3. Uh, now I think I go and go on and animator make an animation. But before I can do this, I need an indicator that uh, shows the animation. Otherwise, it's a still image, and so I modeling now the indicator.
I think I need to break the center line for visual, uh, better visualization and so I add uh, another cube This gives me uh, the, the, the chance to add more animation stuff. Okay, I think I'm done with uh, basic model for now. Sorting things out and clean a little bit up. Okay. 
I go with uh, 60, 16 frames and start with one. And before I do the animation, I setting up some textures and more colors. Leave the uh, orange uh, highlight color, but uh, the inner uh, needs to change because it lines up with a uh, uh, rotating indicator. And yeah, we go with gray. Too dark. I can create also a new material. Yes.
you see uh, it takes some time to get the colors right and perfect That seems uh, okay for me now. I only uh, animate the needed parts. In this case, the, these four pins and in and the center shaft. First uh, keyframe is the current po position and rotation, and last uh, it's of course uh, I need an uh, 180 degrees like so, and you see uh, minus 180 degree, and we have 16 frames, so I need. Uh, some calculations and come to eleven point twenty five and this needs subtracted from the point because the first and the last keyframe uh, don't be the same you see. <laughs> The, the cycle starts again with one, and so have you a double double keyframe. That's wrong. Okay. Okay. I make it a, lot, a little bit easier. I only animate the. Cube. Key for him. Setting to end. Rotation. And go with perfect key for him. And when I hit play, you can see it uh, moves, rotates, spins, not. Um, seamless. You can leave it or fix it with the following options. Okay, so better. Uh, the same thing I do for the center parts, and when the animation is done. Of course, uh, here I need only 90 degrees. If I want uh, the animation much faster, I can animate the whole cycle, but uh, 90 degrees gives a smooth animation. Same again, need calculation. Looks good.
now we prepare the final output rendering. Mm. I go with a uh, three by three tile, so uh, it's of course three uh, ninety six, but uh, you need one more tile for the shadow. So I go usually with uh, 128 in both directions. Now I, I zoom out so I'm in uh, moving a little bit around so it fits in the frame. Here. Looks okay. A little bit up and good. I need to tweak the shadow because uh, here it's grey. But uh, after I switch to the, our shadow catcher, it's um, very dark and black. This can uh, this can this cannot used, so I light the shadow a little bit up to gray, like so, and. Maybe this one. This is uh, in game sites. Now I can render my final setup. Need to need to make an output path. Set to all frames and the rest do the program for us. Sharpen maybe a little bit higher because the colors not very polished. That's all. Okay. Now I need this into. So, uh, I think it's done for this part of the video. I prepare the next uh, how we do the sprite sheet and integrate this into Factorio. You can do, uh, of course, a an, an rotated animation. It's simple. You rotate the whole object that you have made and place it or Tweak it and can render the, the whole animation again. Set a new things, uh, path, render it, and you see it renders again and so we can uh, use both in in later in Factorio if you want. <laughs>